Isaac with the VOR Broadcast Network. You can find out more at the VOR.net. I'm excited for entering a brand new series that we're doing called the End Time Preppers. The End Time Preppers, the layman's guide to the last days. We're going to be doing, this is a mega series. And just recently, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit has been leading me into the word of, into the scriptures about the last days. Do you understand that the last days, the understanding of eschatology, which is the study of the last days, the study of the end of days, is very confusion. It's very confusing. It's because we all, we have a few interpretations of understanding the last days. But what if I told you, what if the end times is going to be different than you think? What if the end times is not, many times we're fearful. Many don't even read the book of Revelation or Daniel or look into Ezekiel or the prophets or even the words of Jesus in Matthew chapter 24 and Luke chapter 13 and uh, um, not Luke chapter 13, Luke chapter 21 and the also in Mark chapter 13. You know, the word of God, I was researching it and I found a hundred verses about the last days. Do you know? One of the factors that pours into the last days is Israel. You cannot get around scripture without dealing and talking about Israel. Israel is the centerpiece. Israel is the epicenter of Bible prophecy. And it just amazes me how many are against Israel. When God says in the last days, he never forgot about Israel. And that is what he's doing. He's bringing the body of Christ back into one one body, one place, one family, one house. Which you see, when you understand the end times in a different way, you're going to have a different understanding about how, how this goes about. God never did away with, it, with Israel. This replacement theology, I'm going to teach on that, has created a lot of anti-Semitism anti towards the Jews, towards the, the, the people of God. And God is not going to, it's not going to be the way that you've been taught because we have neglected scripture. So what are we going to learn in the end time preppers? You're going to learn many things. You're going to learn what the Bible says about the last days. Sometimes we look so much to the rapture, which is a part of the end times. We look at to who's going to be the antichrist. We look at all the signs, but we forget it is all about the loving of his appearance. Do you love his appearance? Are you ready for the second coming of Christ? The reality is many of us are not ready. We're not prepped. When I'm talking about preppers, I'm not just talking about doomsday. I'm talking about preparing. You know, things are about to shift very quickly in the United States of America and around the world. It's time to get ready. It's time to prepare. Three words I heard from the Lord. Be ready. No. Uh, yes, be ready. Be smart. Be prepared. That means we're going to have to physically take action. That means we're going to have to prepare ourselves. If things were to get bad, we need to be ready for it. Prepare your storehouse, get your supplies, all of that. God still speaks in prophecy. God still speaks to people prophetically. And he speaks to the watchmen to let them know what is coming. So that you can prepare for the last days. This is going to be one of the most powerful broadcasts that the VOR has done and I believe that it's going to become one of the most talked about it probably be one of the most controversial ones that I've ever done but I'm going to tell you I'm going to back it up with the word of God I'm going to back it up with scripture I'm coming from you from a different perspective than you've probably been taught and bear with me it's going to get some use I see some use to because if you didn't know about this then the end times is glorious. The end times is going to be incredible. You're going to play a big part of it. But we need to understand that Jesus spoke these things. And you know when we're coming to the close, close in the second coming of Christ, there's going to be a love to talk about the second coming of Christ. People are going to return back to understanding the last days. And when we see these things happening in Israel, the escalation of wars, 
nation against nation, when we start seeing all of this hatred against the things of God, against God's people, we're going to see separation. The divide has begun. There will be no more gray line. You're either going to be on the good side or you're going to be on the evil side. You're going to see a per persecution of believers because the enemy knows that he has a short time. And that is why this series, we may go for months. We could go for a year. We're right now doing um, the book of Acts at our church, uh, Libro de los Hechos. It's in Spanish. But I also taught that on our program called uh, Back to Acts. If you never, if you have never uh, been familiar with the VOR, I'm not new to this. I've been doing this for a long time. But one of the ministries that the Lord has called me to is the prophetic. And the prophetic and revival go hand in hand. And the end times cannot be divorced from the gospel. And the end times cannot be divorced from revival. And in these end times, what are we going to see? I'll probably come up in another video so I can tell you where, where we're headed and where we're moving. And when you see it differently, you'll be prepared. I'm not here to scare you. I'm here to prepare you. The end time preppers. You better get ready because the end times is going to be glorious. It's epic. We're going to have we're going to do videos. We're going to do audio podcasts. We're going to have guests that talk about the end times. We're also going to do a documentary a type of uh, documentary video. We're also going to do videos like this that you can share and let people know about the end time preppers. We're going to bring be giving you advice of how to prepare your storehouse how to get ready in case of a disaster, in case something happens. And I can tell you this. This is a complete, that's why I call it the layman's guide. The layman means for the simple person. Even the child's going to be able to understand the end times. That's where I want it to be. It's become so confusion. It's so filled with confusion. It's so hard to understand. But I'm going to make it easy because it's the Holy Spirit that's going to give us the revelation of what's going on. I tell you, I can go on and on and on and on. But if you want to know more, there's four programs we released already. The first one is um, the intro to the preppers, the end time preppers. Second one was called the urgency of the hour. The urgency of the hour. The third one is, um, oh, are you ready? Are you ready? The end time preppers and the last program that was released was called, Do You Love His Appearing? I go through verse upon verse about falling in love with the second coming of Jesus Christ. That the bride of Christ has to get ready because she's not ready. She's been asleep. And this is a wake up call to everyone that needs to hear this word. The end time preppers is not coming. It is here. The end times is not going to be in the future. It is now. We are now getting into scripture and we're going to find out where we are i'm going to tell you this all comes through prayer it comes through fasting it comes to studying the word of god the end time preppers find out more go to the vor.net listen to our program comes out every thursday 10 a.m and 8 p.m on i call you bless radio icyb radio Go to icallyoubless.com and connect to 24 hours, seven days a week. What is the ICYB radio all about? It is a revival shaken station. This is what they're doing at the ICYB radio. They are preparing for a worldwide revival. How are they doing that? Through music that brings you into an encounter with God. Through word that is powerful, that is preparing the saints for the end times. That's what we're doing at the VOR. We are preparing the saints, preparing the people for the last days. We're equipping you for the last days. Are you ready? I'm excited about it. I'm not afraid of the end times. I want we're going to be a part of some of the greatest moves of God. Revival and judgment are going to come together. Revival and the glory of God, revival and darkness, but the best thing about it, God's people will do mighty things in the last days. Do you believe it? All right, this is Isaac with the VOR Radio Show. Stay tuned for more on the end time preppers. God bless you. Bye-bye.